Hi friends, I'm Dino Pinch and you're in the handyman zone. In this video we're going to go over how to clean out your computer, keeping it cool and helping it run faster. Keeping your computer running in a safe temperature is really important for a number of reasons. Number one, if your computer uh, becomes too hot, it's very possible you're going to damage important parts, you're going to shorten your lifetime and possibly even lose your files, lose your data. So uh, it could lead to irreparable repairs and a, a big headache. So this is really important that you do this like at least once a year. A hot computer will also run a lot slower than a cool running computer. So if you've noticed that your computer has slowed down recently, this could be a quick and easy fix. We're going to give your computer a spring cleaning even though it's winter time. And we're going to show you how to get rid of the dust. That's a huge problem. Um, your computer gets large amounts of dust because the fan blows huge amounts of air through to cool it and there's electrostatic charge inside the computer from all the electronic components and that leads to like a dust magnet. I'm covering PCs in this video although laptops suffer from the same problem although a lot of laptops, Apple, are not made to be opened, never mind cleaned. So you may try using a compressed air can or a compressor with like a moderate um, blast of air in any of the vents or cracks or crevices that you may find around the back, here's a laptop, in the back, in the sides, any little holes you can find in your laptop that you can blow air through and in, you may try cleaning out your laptop if it indeed is not designed to come apart. This one has a big cover you can take off in the back and you can take the battery out. Um, but a lot of them, like I said, are not designed to be taken apart at all. Never mind cleaned. So let's get up to our test subject, our PC, and let's clean it out for you. The one tool you may or may not need, uh, or actually two tools, is a Phillips head screwdriver. And number two is a vacuum cleaner with a hose and a narrow crevice tool. And uh, to get the best suction, you may want to clean or change the bag in your vacuum so you know you're getting the best suction you can. Let's get up and do it. Here is our PC. We have it unplugged and powered down. We have our screwdriver handy, and we have our canister vacuum with a hose and a narrow crevice tool standing by. Second thing we're going to do after powering down the computer is pop the side cover off. Your PC may have a couple of locking screws back here or some other mechanism to secure the cover. Although this one I've already taken that out. Now as we can see when we open it up is almost immediately we can see that there's dust in the side vents and covers. Uh, the fan uh, is right here. You can see the leading edge of the fan blades is all covered with dust, but more importantly behind the fan on what they call the heat sink, there's just piles and piles of dust. Uh, look at that. I just just scraped off. I mean there's piles back there. So we're actually going to take these four screws out and take this fan off so we can really clean that heat sink out with the vacuum. Although you may be able to just get in here with your narrow crevice tool and just clean that out. But we're also going to clean out these vents in the back. That back fan is suffering from the same problem, the leading edges. There's vents in the front, there's dust in the bottom, there's dust all over. We're going to carefully get in here with the narrow crevice tool. We're going to try not to touch any wires or electronics, but we're going to get close enough to everything to just pull the dust off. I mean, just look at that wire. Look at that dust on this thing here. It's just completely, and this is only after about a year um, of, of use, and it's just completely covered with dust. So let's get in here and start cleaning this. So these screws are Phillips head and uh, you want to kind of be careful you don't drop your tools possibly causing damage to anything but uh, if you just loosen up these four screws this fan will come right off. Now what we've done is we've taken off the fan and the heat sink as an assembly. There's some, 
there's some grease on the back of the heat sink that attaches it to the CPU right back there and we're gonna be as careful as we can not to disturb that grease because we're gonna be reusing it but we are gonna try to vacuum out all of that dust without getting it on the grease and uh, like I said you may not have to take this fan off you may be able to get in there with your narrow crevice tool and get all the dirt without pulling your fan off Now, I didn't mention in the tools needed, but if you have a small artist paintbrush, it would help you get into fan and loosen up some of that uh, as you rake across the heat sink to loosen up the dust so the vacuum could suck it up. Back fan. The rear case fan. And as we're back here, we're going to get close to the uh, video card and the floor of the machine and any other cards you may have. You want to try to get close, but again, not touching, but get all the dust that you can up. The power supply up underneath is another fan that gets pretty dusty. Find your drive phase. Now up here is the front vent cover. You want to make sure you get in there. And also from the front. Again, the power supply is another vent cover here. And we're going to go around the back to get this back fan cover. And again, the power supply is another vent opening there. Now our side cover. And that's basically it, boys and girls. We're going to put everything back together. And uh, this maintenance should be performed, you know, as needed, but at least once a year. These things get really dusty. It's just a, a simple fact of electrostatic charge and the volume of air that goes through them. So, uh, again, this is going to give you faster performance and more reliability. As long as you don't mess with anything in there. As far as physically touching it with any metal tools or the metal vacuum cleaner tip, you're going to be fine. 
but just make sure the power is off and the unit's unplugged. And as soon as we're done now, we can power this up and it's going to be running a lot better. It's going to be quieter because the fan's not going to be running so crazy. And uh, it's going to cool a lot better and you're going to see an increase in performance. Guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to share this. Like the video if you want. Uh, subscribe to the Handyman Zone while you're here because all of this stuff really helps me out with this YouTube gig. And we'll see you later.